In this video, we'll find the element on the periodic table that corresponds to the electron configuration 1s2. So there's two ways to do this. The first way is we just look at how many electrons we have. So we have two electrons for this element here. Because the periodic table is made up of neutral elements, the number of electrons will equal protons. So if we have two electrons here, we just find the element that has two protons on the periodic table. That will be the identity of this electron configuration. So two, right here, helium has an atomic number of two. It has two protons. Since it's neutral, it has two electrons. And this is the element on the periodic table that has the electron configuration 1s2. No, you could have something like lithium that would lose an electron and become 1s2, but that would be an ion. So we're only looking at these neutral elements right now. There's another way we could do this. We could look at the periodic table divided into orbital blocks. So the first group here, group 1 on the periodic table, they all end in S1. Second group, S2. When we get over to the D, since D holds up to 10 electrons, we have D1 all the way to D10. And then for P, holds up to 6, P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But we're looking for something that ends in 1S2. So we go to the first row here, 1S1. This would be 1S2. So this is the element on the periodic table that has the electron configuration 1s2. Let's go back and look at the periodic table with the elements written in. So we can see here, we get the same answer. This is helium. It has two protons, so it has the two electrons. The electron configuration is 1s2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.